In today's video, you will see me remove buildup from the corners of the big toenails because of ingrown toenail pain. This is older footage and I don't have my new ingrown sidewall or rasp, but you will be amazed at what I get out from under the corners, so stay tuned! So here's the backstory. This client has had ingrown toenails removed in the past and they still bug her. The nail of the big toe curves quite tight in her nail groove and the buildup gets down in there and causes discomfort. You're gonna see me struggle with my tools to get all of the nail lifted up enough to get the debris out, so bear with me while you're watching. Another question that I sometimes get is why do I use the fingernail file going up and down sometimes? It's just because I can't get a good angle on the nail, a toe is in the way or my finger's in the way. It's a tiny little space so it's really hard sometimes to file the free edge, especially when somebody's toenail is super short. And another question people ask a lot is I thought you could only file in one direction, which is a complete myth. I have a video in my video list about filing in both directions and um, toenail, why I don't use toenail clippers. I'll put the link up in the little right hand corner so you guys can check out that video too.
So to look at it at first glance, it doesn't really look like anything out of the ordinary. It doesn't look red or swollen or really dry or a lot of dead skin or anything. But sometimes that little teeny tiny corner that I'm trying to pull up on, it's just got like a little piece of nail stuck to it or something stuck under it. So right now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, what the heck is under there? And it keeps slipping off my cuticle pusher, kind of driving me insane, but I do eventually get out a little hunk of stuff that was just pressing against her skin underneath that nail. And it gave her a lot of relief. Don't forget to leave me a comment for your chance to win one of the tools I am using in the video. One of the comments will also be chosen for my comment hall of fame on my Instagram. The link to my online store I'm going to put up here in the right hand corner as well. It will also be in the description. You can find all of the tools that I use in this video on my online store. So if you're wanting to start a little kit for home use in between pedicures at the salon, you can pick up some professional tools so you can take care of your feet at home. All right, it's time to clean off the nail plates. I put a little piece of cotton inside of my non-lint wipe, but even though they say that they're non-lint, it's they stuff still sticks to the, the toenails. But anyway, they evaporate the acetone. They don't hold a lot of acetone, so I just stick a little piece of cotton with acetone in it in the wipe around it, and that way I get more acetone and it gets off all of the debris from the lotion and the cuticle oil that I put on earlier to make sure her nail is really dehydrated so the polish stays on really well. And yes, that is dog hair stuck to my sweater, which is so ridiculous. I cannot believe it. I hope Bruce doesn't see this video. He's always telling me to lint roll my clothes because I have dog hair all over them. But you know what I say? An outfit is not complete without a dog hair from your little fur babies, right? <laughs>
I love to reward my viewers by drawing at random one of the subscriber comments made on the video. Be sure to leave me a comment for your chance to win one of the tools I am using in the video. One comment will also be chosen for my Comment Hall of Fame on my Instagram.